Hey traders, hope everybody is doing well. It's 8 p.m. on Sunday evening and I was just reviewing some of my trades that were posted this week in our VIP Roar um, Discord channel. And um, I wanted to review, you know, the best trade every week and, you know, why I personally think it's the best trade so that in the future you guys can learn from it. All right, so um, you can see on Friday, I posted here a shout out by Meta, all right? And that was at 9.35. Now, what did I see at 9.35? It looked like it wants 500. Now, a lot of analysis goes into these trades, um, you know, even before the market it opens. I use several different tools like volume profiling, market profiling. I use things like VWAP analysis, anything, uh, sometimes I will use, um, you know, occasionally I'll use things like footprint charts, but, um, you know, it's, it's a lot of experience that goes into, um, you know, into these trades. So, you know, can I tell you the exact reasons? No, but I can tell you the reasons that um, accentuate or make the trade what I consider to be one of the best trades this week and why I went so big. So you can see here at 9.35, I said buy Meta wants 500. And uh, one of the things I was looking at at that time was the overall condition of the stock market. Now, if you're not a member of Voland yet, uh, what I saw at 9.30 was this particular situation which is very very bullish we had about um, 52 million about 452 million of bullish charm which is really the dealers drive of the market okay there were 452 million dollars worth of drive behind it is the best way that I can explain it right without becoming an expert on Voland so that was one of the contributing factors to why at 9.35 I was so bullish, okay? And that's where my signal was with 500. The other factor obviously is the big psychological number of 500, the overall market was gapping higher, and we are in obviously a ballistic stock market right now where everything is going straight to the moon nonstop. So Meta 500, something I've had in mind for a few days now, um, I was just waiting till I got more of a, a clearer risk to return on it. All right, so that being said, um, that's one of the contributing factors that got me to 500. Now that trade <clears throat> didn't look like a lot. I was using a stop down here of 494 and I got in around 496, 50, somewhere around there. And so all the way up to 500, the risk was not, the risk was, um, you know, it's about one to one. It wasn't really the greatest risk, but <clears throat> because we were so close to that number and because there were so many other contributing factors, all time high market, bullish charm, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, dollar yields, um, market profiling, there were so many contributing factors to that hitting 500 today. I loaded the boat. So on that particular trade, I went as high as three and a half percent risk, and I just said, "Okay, I'm so convinced." And you know, you got to really come to those points in time in in your life as a trader where, you know, not all trades are uh, considered the same. You know, this was an A plus type of situation with so many different contributing factors that were just inevitable we were gonna smash that 500 level today. Now, I probably could have got a little bit more out of it. To be very honest with you, I actually took a short on it. <laughs> I got short on it at 500 and uh, made a little bit of money and I bailed. I got, went, from five, went from this 501 level down to the 499 level, so I actually got it in two directions so uh, very successful trade and uh, I hope you guys can learn from this trade when you have so many contributing factors and you know you got to load the boat some days I went three percent risk on that trade and I, th I really believe that was the trade of the week 
Anyways, thank you. If you are not a member of uh, the Discord group, you can go to our Roar channel to Market Signals and you can sign up. Now, uh, if you also want to use Voland, and you can see how it played a role in one of the trades today, um, you can become an, you can come under our affiliate in Voland and you will get a discount off ball land of 10% and you will get a hundred dollars off the discount from the uh, Roar signal service and if you're not a member of Roar Capital we will give you 25 to 1 leverage on that trade how do you like that all good things folks now I wanted to stress one thing if you are already a member of Valen, I do not want to see you canceling your membership and coming over to, to my service for the explicit reason that um, Valen is probably the most powerful tool in the world for indexes, right? It's okay with stocks. Jason seems to think it's really good with stocks. I think it's okay with stocks. But I think it's way, way more powerful with indexes. Uh, at least that's been my experience. But so, it, it, you know, don't just quit Voland and think I'm going to come over to Roar Signal Service and the world is going to be a, a rosy and wonderful place. No, it's not like that. It's, again, I just told you, there's multiple reasons that go into decisions that build your confidence in a trade. And you have to have all of those things lined up in order to take a trade. One thing or another, just one thing by itself, you're guaranteed to lose money. I, I just, I've seen that over and over. You're stacking probabilities is what I like to call it, okay? So, um, yeah, and by the way, if you're a member of Valen and you wanna come over to uh, the signal service, uh, don't cancel, just write me or my team an email saying, hey, I'm an existing member of Valand. We will give you a discount as well too. You don't have to quit and re-sign up, okay? Okay, guys, and by the way, uh, thank you for um, all the fun we had in the room this week, and I'm looking forward to next week being even more fun. Bye for now.